Hello and welcome everyone to storytelling section. My name is Pet Hassidi Samlo or you can simply call me Tan. I'm currently a junior student of Faculty of Education majoring in English language teaching from Panyapiwat Institute of Management. So today I have an interesting and famous turkey folktale to have you to listen to which is called Kill Auckland or Kelligan and the Magic Seal. If you are ready, let's enjoy the journey of the story together. One day in the afternoon, there is a young man walking down the street home. Hello, I'm Kirk Auckland. Today, I have sold my crops at the marketplace and I earn three gold coins. I will bring it back to my mother. She will be so happy. I can't wait to see her face. Okay, let's get back home. While he was walking home, he found a cat was teasing by a group of people. Meow, help me please. Meow, help me please. Meow, help me please. Hey boy, stop teasing the cat. If you stop, I will give you one gold coin. Okay, give me the coin and I will let the cat go. Alright, here you are. It's already yours now. Thank you very much. And I gave you a cat. Now, Kill Auckland had only two gold coins left, but the cat decide to enjoy the journey with Cal Auckland, so they walk down the street together. Again, while he was walking with the cat, he found a mean couple is beating a dog. Help me please! Help me please! Help me please! Hey guy, stop beating the dog! If you stop, I will give you gold coin. Really? If you give me the gold coin, I will let the dog go. Okay, the gold is yours now. Thank you very much. You can have the dog now. I will go. Thank you very much. And the dog? Decide to enjoy the journey with Kill Auckland too. Now, Kill Auckland had just only one gold coin left, but he is very happy that he can help others. Okay, boy and girl, let's go home together. Unfortunately, while they are walking home through the forest, they found a woodcutter is trying to hit the snake. Ho ho ho, I will kill you the snake. Help me please, help me please, help me please. Stop please, don't kill the snake. Kel Auckland said. If you stop, I will give you a gold coin. Alright, if you give me the gold coin, I will let the snake go. The woodcutter said. Okay, the gold coin is yours now. Thank you very much. You can have the snake now. Thank you very much for helping me. Let's go home with me. I will ask my papa to give you some present. Oh, really? Thank you very much. Okay, let's go with me. Papa, Papa. What happened, my son? He is Kel Auckland. He is the one who helped me from the woodcutter. Really? Thank you very much for helping my son. It's my pleasure. I will give something back to you in return. What do you give to me? I will give you the magic seal. What is that? Is the magic stuff that you can wish for anything in the world. Anything in the world? Wow! 
that's such a great thing. Yes, it's such a great thing. I keep it in my mouth and I will give it to you. Oh, thank you very much. I will keep it. Thank you so much. You deserve it. Thank you very much for helping my son again. Okay. Thank you, you too. I will go now. Then kill Uncle, the cat, and the dog. Keep walking home. When Kel Auckland's alive home, he decided to tell everything to her mom. Oh my god! Why did you do that, my son? That was a foolish thing. How can you give the three gold coins to those people for helping a cat and a dog? That was so nonsense. Calm down, my mom. I have something very special for you. What is that? Here you are. The magic seal. I got it from the snake emperor. He said we can wait for anything. Just put it in our mouth and wait for something and it can be happen. Really? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure mom. Tomorrow. I will use the magic seal to help me ask the princess to be married. Next day in the morning, Kel Auckland, the cat, and the dog keep walking directly to the castle. At the castle, that eat a strict king is ruling the castle and the kingdom. Christing the strongest king in the kingdom. Who are you? And what do you want for me? I'm Q Auckland. I'm here today to ask your daughter to marry with me. Oh poor boy. How dare you say that? I want give my daughter to you. Please my beloved king. I promise to take care and look after her well. <laughs> All right, I will give her to you if you can build a beautiful big castle for me. And I probably sure that you cannot do that. The dog and the cat cannot help you for sure. <laughs> All right, I will show you tomorrow that I can bring you a beautiful big castle. Goodbye for today. That night, Kel Auckland decided to put the magic seal in his mouth. I will put it in my mouth. And he started to wait. I would like to have a beautiful big castle, please. Once he finished his wish, some light on the sky starts shining. And then, the beautiful big castle appeared in front of him and located beside the castle of the strict king. Wow, it works. I will show the king that I can build him the beautiful big castle tomorrow. Next day in the morning, how possible? The beautiful big castle, how can you do that? It isn't important how I can do it, but King, you have to keep your promise. All right, I'm the King. If you can do it, I will give my daughter to be your wife. Thank you very much. Kel Auckland is very happy right now because he will marry with the beautiful princess in the kingdom. From now on, Kel Auckland live happily with his mom, his dog, his cat, and his beautiful wife in the castle. Now, Kill Auckland 
is very happy with his life. He didn't need anything else, so he decided to put the magic seed in his bedroom without telling his wife about what he has. So today I will go to work at the marketplace. I will leave my wife and my dog, my cat, and also my mom to live happily in the castle. While the beautiful princess was spending her time in the big castle, she heard someone is knocking the door. Who is that? So she went to open the door, and she found the old man stand right in front of the door. And she decided to invite him into the castle. Oh, poor man, who are you? Oh, I'm just the old man who walking around here. I try to sell my beautiful beads, but no one wants to buy me. Oh, you sell the beautiful beads, right? Can I have a look? Here you are. There are many beautiful bees in the Wow, dog. it's so beautiful. If you like it, I will give it to you all. You want to give me? But I have nothing to give oh, to oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. I need nothing. But if you want to give me something in return, can I have the uh, use let's sail in your bedroom. The unuseful seal? You want it, right? If you want it, I will give it to you to exchange with the beautiful beads that you give to me. Oh. 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 Thank you. Finally. Thank you very much. I have to leave now. Thank you for you helping. Okay. Thank you very much. And have a good journey. See you oh. next time. See you again, my cutie. I will leave now. Suddenly, after the old man went out from the castle for a while, the beautiful big castle disappeared. Else, what happened? I don't know too. When the king knew that the castle disappeared, so he reclaimed her daughter back to his castle. Let's go home with me, my daughter. Oh, Papa, I don't want to go. When Auckland came back from the marketplace, he found that his castle disappeared. So he became distraught and get sad. Oh my God, why did it happen to me? When the cat and the dog saw the boy get sad, they looked at each other and decide to do something. The dog walked to the boy. Buck, 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 don't get sad. I and the cat will find and bring the magic seal back to you. Really? How can you do that? I and the cat will sniff the smell of that man and go to find the magic seal back to you. Oh, really? Thank you very much. The dog swim across the river in order to find the old man in the forest by having a cat sitting on his back along the way he swim. When they reach the land, they start sniffing on the air in order to find the smell of that old man. <laughs> Can you smell that? Yes? I think we come to the right tag. Of course, 
Let's go. <laughs> they found the old casted in the middle of the forest and they're pretty sure that the old man is in that house. I think he is in that. I agree with you. Let's go. In the house, the cat and the dog saw the old man is sleeping on the chair. I think he put the magic seed in his mouth, the cat said. I agree with you, the dog replied. So, let's get it back. How? Listen, the dog. I will sparkle the powder of peppercorns to his nose. And when he sneezes, the magic seal will come out and then you grab it and run okay uh-huh okay papa the cat start climbing on the old man's body then she decided to sparkle the powder to that old man Run! The cat and the dog ran out of the house and Dali go back to kill Auckland quickly. When the cat and the dog returned the magic sea to kill Auckland, suddenly the beautiful big castle reappeared again. When the king saw that, he decided to return his daughter back to kill Auckland. Kel Auckland and his wife are together again. Both of them are very happy right now. Kel Auckland looked at the cat and the dog and he smiled because he had learned that friendship always help each other when they can and there is magic in such friendship, perhaps even more so than in the magic seal. From now on, everyone live happily, even after. Oh, that is a great and wonderful story, isn't it? I hope you all enjoyed the story. Anyway, I just would like to tell you that the moral of this story is no magic in the earth is more powerful than the magic of being friends or friendship. So thank you very much for your kind attention today and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye bye.